Hello, this is the Home Doc. I wanted to talk about uh, my Calipeller 304D. I uh, had to do some bucket work um, on on the bucket, and there's a little trick that I wanted to kind of pass that uh, to y'all that really helped me tremendously on this whole uh, repair. So let me uh, <clears throat> go over here, and I actually I um, I had to change out this pin here. Now, it's actually one of the main pins, but you can see the other pin, it uh, got bent pretty good. I mean, it was uh, bent. I don't know if you can see it really good to picture or not, but it uh, it got damaged. And, and it was actually, I should have changed it out sooner because it was really wearing uh, wearing out the bushing in here. Um, and it, this is this is the new bushing. This is, I bought four bushings because I was somewhat changing the top too, but the top one's okay. But um, I had to put... Two new bushings on either side here, and um, and actually that the the metal was really worn, so it had a little bit of slop and and not much. It may be about a, I would say maybe a sixteenth to a through an eighth of an inch, which still that's a lot, you know, because you you want to make sure this is aligned correctly, make sure that pins align uh, correctly in that uh, opening, and uh, so you can't and you get this pin of you got this bushing over here is off from this one your pen alignment will be way off. So a trick that I used that I highly recommend, um, after I cleaned, I cleaned all this out, and the bushing, there was no bushings in there, they were gone. I guess the, the pen wore, wore the bushings totally out. So the, the bushings were totally gone, the pen was basically rubbing against the uh, frame of the excavator, you know, the end here. And um, so I pulled all that out, I cleaned it up, it was a lot of dirt and uh, everything all in there. So I cleaned all that out with a uh, like a, a rotary grinder, and uh, then I put my bushings and kind of set them in there. Um, just you know, just kind of set them in dry to make sure it was kind of somewhat okay. Um, and what I did, I put some JB weld uh, on the bushing and inside, and I stuck those bushings in there on both sides. And then after I did that, the JB weld. Uh, all it does, it kind of, it, it sets it. So then when you put your pin and everything back in there, uh, then it sets it and let it sit overnight or, you know, a day or so, and it's going to get hard. But it's not hard enough to keep it, the, the bushing's got to be stable. You know, so you have to, I had to kind of weld this bushing in the end here. I couldn't, you're supposed to press them. You're supposed to be pressed in. But like I say, the other the pin I had was wore wore the inside out and everything. So, and you know, you could basically, if you wanted to, get a machinist and you can go in there and get them to to build it back up and, and get it machined. But uh, I didn't want to pay you know that um, money on, on all that. So what I did, I just took, said, took the JB weld, put it on the bushing, stuck it in both sides, and then put it all back together with a pin. Let it sit overnight. And then I came back the next day and took it all apart. And um, I basically welded, this, this bushing was kind of stuck in there. But uh, then I took a hardened tip uh, welding rod, and then I welded the face of the bushing to the, the frame of the uh, thing. You can't really see it, but so good. I, I greased it up in there good, but uh, I did both sides. <clears throat> and then I also put, uh, I put new bolts you know, through, and that's a brand new pin. So a brand new pin and bushings, and it is, it is tight. And um, it's it's awesome. I even welded on the side here. I took the welding rod and went through this way, and I welded the inside of here also and this side. So I shouldn't have too much problem if I keep you know keep it greased. And that's why it's so critical to to keep your things greased, you know, and and not to ne neglect that because that that maintenance makes a difference in the long run. So uh, so I went ahead and, and like I said, but that that was a great trick. I wanted to pass that on. So if you do have um, and this is something I did myself, too. I did by myself. Um, if you had a, a person helping you, it, it does help out. But still, to be able to put the bushing in and weld it, and that's more of a permanent fix. But the thing is, your alignment might be off. So, uh, I mean, I just want to give that, that tip to you, that, that JB weld and stick it in there and then let it set. It, it made a tremendous difference, and it helped me with the alignment. And I mean, you can't really tell, but so much, but... You could tell that pin is aligned perfectly. Uh, also, I had to do some more bucket work, and I put uh, some teeth. I had to put a teeth, uh, another fang 
digging tooth. This one here actually broke off, and this one was really worn, so I had, I had to grind it a little bit, and then bought another one, and I drilled, drilled a hole, and uh, but I think it's a half an inch hole went through, and then um, I got to weld this one next. But uh, a trick on this is uh, take a, like a, this is a piece of metal here, but take a two by four or something, you can put them across the, the teeth, and uh, you can you can have it, and it kind of gets you to line the tooth up. You know, so you make, you make sure it's all, they're all lined up straight. And then I put a mark, put a mark on there. So then what I'll do, I'll put a bolt through, and uh, then I'll weld everything with a hard face rod. I'll weld it all up real good, and then it'd be good as new then. And uh, so nice, I'm doing some work on that. And uh, it's just been a kind of a, a cold winter, nasty winter. It's actually snowing right now. So I wanted to get some things done. Actually, I have a couple videos I put out already where I, I changed. I worked on the undercarriage of a my excavator here. I put uh, new tracks, cleaned it all up. I had a track that wouldn't come off. And I had to um, actually cut the track off, which I didn't want to do, but I had to do it. And then I redid all the rollers and, and replaced some rollers and and uh, so you can, there's a video in my channel that you can take a look if you're interested in some uh, undercarriage work or how to remove a track that wouldn't come off. Uh, you know, you can take a look at that. And, uh, but yeah, and also I changed the, uh, the final drive gear oil, changed that. And I have some, um, you know, tips for that also in, uh, on uh, a video too. But uh, I'll just give you a brief summary. It's uh, one quart. This is a 304 C a D machine. So it takes one quart per side, and uh, you're supposed to change it like once a year. And that was per the uh, Caterpillar dealer. I talked to him yesterday, and uh, and then also, uh, so basically I had to prime it, clean it, and uh, repaint it black. So it uh, should be good to go. And uh, here's actually the, some of the, the undercarriage parts. The spring broke on one side, and I uh, had to change out some pistons that seized up, and that's what caused the the actual track to um to get i'm sorry to get uh stuck it was all pitted and everything but i, I have a bigger video under undercarriage that you're welcome to take a look at please do and and um thanks so much for your support and taking a look at the channel and um i appreciate all the and also here's here's a welder i was using this is a miller uh with hardened tip uh some hardened tip rods to, to do that uh welding there so uh it's an old one it's my dad's uh, welder and it, it does a great job it's it's uh, i have a uh, 50 amp circuit in the garage here that i'm able to use and then and get that all welded up but i know i'm rambling on a little bit but i just kind of want to give you a little overview of that and and just give you a, a basic hint on uh a good tip on doing that jb well for those bushings and, and get that pin in and um and also if you got track problems you know I had a, a dolly I put on one end of the track and I'm able to pull the other track over here. So that's like about a 350 pound track. And, um, but I'm getting ready to, you know, put that on after I get my spring for the undercarriage, uh, assembly. But, uh, thanks again for watching and, and hitting that like button. And, and, uh, like I said, I'm getting ready to get this machine out there and start to finish that road up. I, I was working on it, and it got snowy and nasty and wet and rainy. So I said, well, this is a great time to go ahead and get this thing uh, worked on. And i got to do some more land clearing and, and get some more trees knocked down and stuff. But, yeah, the worst thing ever is be out there working, and your, your truck track falls off or something breaks, and you're, you're hemmed up. You know, you can't move the machine, and you have to work outside. So I'm pretty lucky to be able to be inside to, to work on it. But uh, thanks again. Thanks again for everything, and thanks. please support the channel. And, and like I said, hit that like button. I appreciate it. Thanks. Bye-bye.